Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with 90 Second Philosophy and CurrentEdges.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms looking at Aristotelian Venn diagrams and some invalid cases for categorical syllogisms. Let's take a look. We remember our steps are, first we are going to test our syllogism with Boole, and if it's invalid with Boole and it has a particular conclusion, we'll look for a term with only one area available. We'll put a circled X there. If that term exists and the argument would be valid with the circled X there, then the argument's going to be valid for Aristotle. Let's take a look. So figure three, EAI. No M or P, all M or S, therefore some S or P. We fill that in. We see that there's only one area available in the M, so we put a circled X there. We find out that M is mall, so that X gets to stay there. However, this is still going to be an invalid argument. Why? Because our conclusion is that some S are P, and we don't have anything in that area that's shared by both S and P. If our conclusion was some S are not P, this would be a valid argument, but because it is, in fact, an I instead of an O, it's invalid. Figure 1, A, A, I. All M are P, all S are M, therefore some S are P. It's not going to be valid for Boole. We're going to try it for Aristotle. We see that there's only one area available for S. We're going to put a circled X there. However, S is going to be spell. Spells don't exist. Therefore, this is going to be an invalid argument. That was Aristotle with the existential fallacy. Next up, we're going to be looking at the answers to the following problems. Your job is to make a Venn diagram for each of these nine different examples and tell if it's Boolean valid and tell if it's Aristotelian valid. Watch. A new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.